The thing that, that really excites me about quail hunting is it's it's not, okay, how many quail that I harvest, uh, but it's it's how well did my dogs work. Maybe seeing the results of, uh, you know, a couple months of hard training. You know, while I'm out hunting, I'm also kind of putting on my biologist hat and I'm always evaluating, well, what could make the area better? And if you're out with the landowner, um, you know, those are conversations that you can have while you're hunting. What we've seen from quail populations, and it's, you know, basically 40 to 50 years of a steady decline in, in quail populations. Um, however, what we have learned, um, you know, if we provide quality habitat, quail have a, a unique ability to, to rebound. They prefer to spend most of their time on the ground. They'd rather not fly. Um, and they've got to have easy access to seeds. So what that means is, is a really open landscape, a really open herbaceous cover um, with, a, with a fair amount of bare ground and a lot of broadleaf plants that are producing seed. And so practices that benefit and that landowners can implement are such things as prescribed burning, um, quail are kind of often referred to as the firebird, and for a good reason. Uh, fire is probably one of the most efficient practices for uh, managing quail, and if, if, if it's, it's done at the right time, um, it can be used to either promote uh, quality habitat or set back undesirable habitat. Um, prescribed burning on the open lands, things as uh, disking uh, where you have thick grass, but if they have uh, conservation reserve program fields, those are ideal places to do these practices to benefit quail. Hinge cutting or, or edge feathering and brush pile development. Uh, herbicide spraying is another one. Uh, you know, where you have thick grass, whether it be native grass and or, or cool season grass like fescue, um, too much grass is a detriment for quail. And so uh, those practices, again, like herbicide application, uh, where it's targeted can, uh, can really benefit. We can't restore quail populations or get them back to some, uh, you know, maybe more acceptable level just simply on public lands alone. And we've got our private lands division that, you know, has staff located around the state that will work with landowners and help them uh, in, in, in a lot of different ways, not just technical assistance, but uh, in some cases provide uh, cost share to help them manage the habitat that, that they're interested in. It's intensive. Um, but you know, quail, you know, can uh, rebound and benefit. So I'm optimistic, you know, about quail and small game in general in the state of Missouri.